Hi right, my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a fresh episode of our Deportiva da Coruña Return to Glory. Last episode is linked above my friends, feel free to go and check that one out. Uh, before we crack on with this, I just want to let you know there's been a slight tweak to the schedule this week. You probably would have been expecting Project Alpine today, but I've had to change things up to accommodate other stuff on the channel. Apologies for that if you were kind of waiting for another episode of that series. I've had quite a nice response to all of the Football Manager content so far do continue to let me know in the comment section if you're loving it hating it and if you are disliking it what would you like me to change anyway gang we're gonna crack on with a brand new episode today of return to glory let's get into it so last episode gang you will remember that we obviously uh, lost uh, basically our first game of the season but we didn't just lose we were kind of battered, weren't we? It was 4-1. And so since then, there's been a little bit of a change of tact uh, where the team is concerned. I'm going to show you the results, how they've gone since last episode, and then I'll show you the new tactic before we crack on with the games. So uh, let me show you how the games against uh, Ponte Vedra, Marida, and Celta Vigo B went. So in the first game, we won it by two goals to one. We absolutely hammered this team, although the scoreline makes it look like it was a lot closer than it was. They actually went one nil to the good but then we had a penalty for Ruben Diaz he finally scored one he'd missed his last three I believe and then uh, we had a nice little cut back here it finds its way to Alex Lopez Light, nice little deflection falls to the feet of Santa Maria it's in next up was Merida and this was a bit more of a contest affair but a beautiful effort there from Ruben Diaz got the scoring underway we then gave away a penalty although I think it was contentious but we won it in the 82nd minute a lovely drive here through Ruben, Ruben Diaz ball in the box who else? It's Svensson. And then the last game we played was against uh, uh, Celta Vigo B. And we kind of did to them what Castilla did to us. It was so even. 15 shots apiece. They went 1-0 to the good, but then we scored four. And we battered them. We were just basically a lot more clinical in front of the goal. Um, Ruben Diaz with the first. Then a penalty, which he dispatched again. It's nice to see him putting them away. Then it was a lovely passage of play here to set up the third goal. Ball over the top into Santa Maria. He takes it beautifully in the 53rd minute. And then we finish the scoring off with one more goal. Deep, deep, deep into injury time. And as you can see, it's lovely football again. Santa Maria takes his chance. And so that brings us up to date, gang. Uh, we're going to be taking on Cor Doba and Rayo Masha Honda um, in today's episode. Called Doba are actually top of the league, so it's a big game um, at that end of the table. And then we've got a mid table team in Rayo. Now, as far as this tactic is concerned, let me show you what is cooking with it now. So, you will remember from the Castilla game, I changed to a, a similar tactic to it. Not quite this tactic. I went with a couple of attacking midfielders. Um, but I went with a similar tactic to this. Um, I basically just had to jump in. I, I From day one, I felt like the first tactic wasn't really working. I, I wasn't too happy with it. So I decided to change it up. So this is quite a defensive yet attacking formation at the same time if that kind of makes sense we've got, we've got a couple of centre backs wing backs with a holding midfielder who does drop in and help out then we've got a couple of centre mids in support and then we've got three attacking players in the final third now one thing I have noticed is when teams are trying to build against us we are exposed in these areas a little bit but we combat that because we're a lot tighter now as a unit and the gap has been closed between the defence and midfield. I think we were losing the ball a lot. Um, as far as the instructions are concerned, we are sticking with fairly wide, shorter passing. We're going to focus down the wings and play out from the back, um, the higher tempo. Uh, I'm leaving it pretty basic to begin with. Regroup and counter distribute quickly all across the back um, and then this is where it has changed slightly because we're doing the stop crosses prevent goalkeeper close down more often we're using the mid block this time and a lower defensive line it's been working as you can as you've already seen and uh, hopefully it will continue to work in today's episode and as far as the league is concerned after picking up those three wins it looks like this after 13 games played we're actually tied on points with Cordoba at the top of the table 10 wins two draws and a defeat and it's looking pretty good. We've got Ruben Diaz and Santa Maria in the top goal scorers with eight goals as well. Ian Mackay is in there with six clean sheets. But he has kind of been dropped uh, a little bit recently because of the mistakes that he made in last episode. Um, but yeah, things are going 
pretty well. And so we dive into today's episode with a battle at the top of the table. It's first versus second, and I'm really hoping we can get a good result in this one against Cordoba. The team we are going to go with is this one. It's going to be Mackay in goal. Tashi Martinez, Canero, Ashby, Canero in the defensive uh, positions. We're going to go Alabi and Alex Lopez in the midfield. We're going to go Diaz through the middle and Nardo and Santa Maria are going to play as the strikers. All right, my friends. So here we go. Um, this is probably the bigger of the two games in today's episode, the game against Cordoba. Um, we will just minimize that and get a rid of it um so yes let's just uh, hope shall we that we can do some good stuff um in the game but early doors we've got cordoba with a chance that is a worry um i was trying to click on the keeper then um because i forgot it's Mackay that i've got in goal um, because I, I, I kind of promised to play Bellman a bit more. He wants for, wants more football. And to be fair as well, I do think Bellman's potentially the better keeper. Um, but anyway, we've got Ashby on the ball now into Tashi. Um, as you can see, look, I just feel like there's bodies in positions now and uh, occupying pockets of space that they weren't before. Um, I like the free, the triangle there at the back. Um, this is good. Alabi now on the ball. Oh my God, what what a pass. Oh, it's unlucky from Santa Maria. I, I thought that was going to go straight to him, but no, in the end, it actually hit the defender, but an incredible pass from Alabi. In case anyone's wondering um, where Valares is, he, he has had a bad injury between last episode and this one, and he's just about coming back, and I, I'm I'm not rushing him, but Roberto Alabi's been doing a pretty good job as a deep-lying playmaker for us, so um, that's why. I am kind of sticking with him in the midfield for now. Um, but yes, if this is the sort of formation we're going to stick with, though, I do think we're probably going to need to go and pro find some proper wing backs. But Alabi with the free kick, it's not a bad delivery. We do manage to win that. He's come out to Canero. Oh, I think hit the crossbar there. Full back to, uh, sorry, wing back to wing back. Not bad. Um, David Moyes is unhappy because uh, Ashby's being played as a wing back, and that's not what I said I was going to play him as. Annoying, because he's getting first in football, just not in the position that you want, lad. But anyway, it's still football, isn't it? We're nearly done in the first half, and it's a it's a half that we've 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 not quite dominated at all, have we? We've dominated the possession, but just not many shots. Um, Cordoba have definitely been the more um, threatening of the two teams as. Uh, Puga just comes forward just way too easy here. Canero kind of let him go. And it's not... Oh, is that a penalty? Is that really a penalty? <sighs> nice to see they fix that. And yep, yeah, it's 1-0. Just before half time. The worst time that we could concede... Right. Um, that wasn't a great half of football, to be fair. How can how can Rail Canero have the cheek to be pissed off with my team talk after the performance they've just put in? Anyway, Martinez into Granero, into Alabi, into Naro just loses the ball. It's just not really clicking, is it? It's not really clicking. That's a bit better. Santa Maria, that's a good ball. Oh, Victor Naro gets his first goal of the season. Lovely, lovely job. I've kind of been mixing it up between Naro and Svensson in that um, pressing forward role. Naro has all the attributes to do it, but until today, he hadn't scored. But that's really good to see. Really good ball through from Santa Maria. They're on the attack now, though, and that's just way too easy. But that's a good save from Mackay. Very good save from Mackay. It was a bit too easy, though, to just take that touch and get it past the defender. Corner comes in now, headed out. Not bad. Still there, though, for him. That's a weird old tackle. <laughs> but... Uh, but yeah, we've created a few more chances at least in this second half. 
Can we win this? Yes, we can. That's really good from Canero. He's probably a bit lost. He's not on the right side. Um, that's a good ball. It's into Naro. If he's onside, he's just put us 2-1 up. He hadn't scored before today. Now he's got two goals. Get in there. That was brilliant play from Canero, to be fair. He found himself completely on the wrong side of the football pitch, but he drove at him and got it done. Free kick now. Oh, did he save that or did that hit the woodwork? Right, corner kick. Ball comes in, headed out. And nothing really comes of it. But um, yeah, this is this is all right. Um, yeah, Lopez not having a good game. So I'm going to bring Valares... On, I think. Mm, we'll just give it a little bit longer. Because Valaris, as you've just probably just seen then, he didn't have the energy levels that I would have liked. If he'd have had full energy, I might have bought him on now, but he, he doesn't. So don't want to risk him getting injured again as he comes forward. And that's over the bar. They've had far more chances than us um, in this game. So many more chances. 17 shots. Probably should be the team winning, not the team with six shots and round target and a much lower XG. Although I think XG is one of those stats in football that is just an empty, useless statistic. Uh, Marquez is going to stand over a free kick. It's some way. I was about to say it's some way out, but it's not verve enough out, is it? Wow. Wow. It's a good free kick. Probably what they deserve. Um, we've got a few players out here not performing. Lopez and Canero. Two of them. Or Canero even. Um, Yes, we'll put we'll put Granero into the midfield then, and the only person that can play that position is probably Martinez. So yeah, we'll bring Jamie Sanchez on. A couple of changes just because it's a worry when they're underperforming like that. It would be just our luck to lose the game now, wouldn't it? Oh, my God, it's cleared off the line. It's cleared off the line, and we are dicing. We are dicing with defeat here. We really are. We've really... Um, yeah, not good. Not good. We're into injury time. I'd like this clock to just tick away. And it did. 2-2. Two, two. We've escaped with a point. And so we move on to the second game of today's episode. And uh, we have got to make some slight alterations here. I wasn't completely happy with some of the performances in the last game. And we've, you know, picking up knocks. We've got injury. Sorry, not injury. We've got... Um, um, worries where like energy levels and that sort of thing are concerned. We do need to rotate a little bit more, I think. So, we are going to go with Bellman in goal, um, Sanchez and Tashi at centre-back, Martinez, Antonio at uh, wing-back, Granero is going to play in the defensive midfield role, Alabi and Valera is going to play in the midfield, Diaz through the middle, and Naro and Santa Maria are going to continue up top. Right, so, second game of today's episode, and I would like to think that we could win this one. They're kind of mid-table, 11th place. We're riding... High at the moment, going all right, creating had been creating chances until last game anyway. But um, but yeah, we're we're in the we're in the right position basically. We're where we want to be. Um, but for whatever reason, I have loaded up Football Manager today, and this tactic looks cack all of a sudden. We created a lot of chances in the last three games, but today we seem to be really struggling. As Ryo come forward, and oh, it's a good save onto the post, and we managed to clear it out. But really, this is the the best we can do, is it? Ball out, 
that's good though from Alavi to uh, pick that up. Naro though, he's got to use this. Be sensible, he does. It's into Diaz. That's an incredible ball. Can Santa Maria put it away? Yes, he can. What a pass from Ruben Diaz. What a ball. That's an incredible pass. Cut the team open. That is brilliant. And we go 1-0 to the good. I was a bit worried, to be honest, if you're inside that first 25 minutes. I thought we, we are slow out of the traps again. But not to be the case. We are 1-0 to the good and not long until half-time. 36 points. Uh, Cordoba must be winning as well because they're on 36 points. Yeah, they are. They're, they're winning as well. Right, we're into Victor Naro now who drives down the wing. Going to come back to Martinez. Ball coming in. And it ends up with the goalkeeper. I don't know if that deflected off his defender or if it was shot by us. But anyway. Um, yeah, I definitely think we're capable of a bit more. We look pretty solid. And Antonito, 6.3. That is a worry. That is a worry. Um, I'm going to bring him off for Ashby. Because I can't have any lapses Back there, to be honest with you, as Tashi is going to come out and find him. I don't know if this is going to be a proper highlight or one of those empty ones because we've just made changes. Good passing, though. It comes back to Antonito, and he's only gone and got himself an assist as we're about to bring him off. And it's Victor Naro again. He's got three goals in today's episode. Unbelievable. I have made that change. Just the assist doesn't cover up for the fact that he was having a pretty shocking game before that. But yeah, this is not bad. Not bad so far. Ball into the box, though. Headed over the bar. Um, yeah, it's a pretty even affair, isn't it? Um, in, in, in all fairness to, to the opposition. Very, very similar shots. We're on top of that possession. But yeah, it's really, really even. Um, saying that we're controlling the game, but when the stats are that close, um, it does make you wonder, doesn't it? As Valares now, into Tashi, into Sanchez, and why has he tried that? Why has he tried that ball over the top? It's... And then he hasn't bothered tracking, uh, all of that came from a ball over the top. And this is why I play a certain way, because when you play a formation that relinquishes possession, I don't like it. And he's coming off. I'm not putting up with it. I'm not putting up with it. He's been given a chance here, and he's, he's literally gifted him a goal. So Ashby now into Santa Maria, Valares. It was looking so easy for us up until that. Idiotic. Really is idiotic as Alabi now is on the football, driving forward. He finds Granero into Diaz, into Victor Naro. Oh, I think Victor needs to he needs to just drive at the defender and cut that back, in my opinion. Maybe he was on his weak foot. Not sure. Win that header, we do. It's into Ashby. But our shape is a lot better, isn't it? You can kind of see it. You can kind of see where all the players fit in and yeah, we're definitely uh, definitely a tougher team to play against. <gasps> oh, I think he would have been offside anyway, but that handling from Bellman was questionable, wasn't it? I'm going to bring Alex Lopez on for Ilabi. Uh, that's more an energy thing. He wasn't playing too bad. Um, they've definitely come into it in the second half, though, haven't they? They're really going for it. Can we hold on? Let's hope so. Let's hope so. Come on, not long to go. Not long to go, lads. Get this done. Oh, God. It's injury time. And it's in our area. Oh, we cleared it out. That's good, though. Santa Maria picks it up. It's into Alex Lopez now. He passes it out to Carnero. It's into Naro. Oh, he's got to go across the keeper. He's got to go low and hard across the keeper. And I think we're all right. Valares now. Ball over the top. Is he offside? He looked offside to me. Yeah, it's been ruled out. He looked. He did look offside to me, to be fair. That would have been tough to take, I think. 
on Rayo had that been given. Um, cleared, cleared away again. It's into Naro again. Ball over the top. This is what I like to see. Ball comes out to him. Driving up the wing. It's into Lopez. Back to him. Ball in. Oh, it's cleared out. Into Granero. Ball out again. Ball coming in again. Oh, we've hit the crossbar right at the death. Right at the death. That's what I want. That's what I want. I want them wing backs up high when we're attacking. Ball's coming in. We definitely look a better team with this formation. We really do. Get in there. Great win. And so that brings today's episode to a close, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm really not sure where we're going to pick this up, in all honesty. Um, I know I've been saying, you know, two, three, four games at a time. But I do feel like we've got a few teams here that are lower down the table. We've got the Copa del Rey, actually, is kicking off soon. Um, maybe we'll bring it back for that. Quarter of six. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Guadalajara in the Copa del Array first round and Guaita in the league. I think that might be a good place to bring it back. We'll play three games between now and then. Um, and yeah, we'll bring it back for that. Now, as a result of today's episode, the league table looks like this. It's as it was because of the draw against Cordoba. They have the better goal difference, um, but 36 points apiece. Castilla do have a game in hand. Um, if they were to win that, obviously there's three teams on 36 points. I actually think this league is going to be far more difficult than we potentially thought at the beginning because they were basically giving this to us as runaway winners. But clearly some of these teams have got far better squads than the press give them credit for. And so there you have it, my friends. We are done and dusted for another episode of our Deportivo Return to Glory series. I hope you've enjoyed it. Show your appreciation by dropping a like on the video and commenting in the comment section below. And if you're new around here, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification button so you never miss any of the content. But until next time, stay safe, stay humble. See you all real soon.